Welcome to the Power Integrations course, Fixing a Flyback Supply that has Audible Noise. Before beginning, keep in mind that some amount of audible noise is normal in switching power supplies and may not be an issue if your design will be assembled into a sealed enclosure. Be sure to test your design in the final enclosure or product before determining if audible noise levels are unacceptable. Also ensure that the noise you're hearing is not caused by an oscillating output. During this course, you'll need a programmable AC source or a variac and an electronic load. Audible noise is typically generated by either ceramic capacitors or ferrite transformer cores. Noise in ceramic capacitors is typically caused by the reverse piezoelectric effect. When voltage is applied across a dielectric structure, it can induce a mechanical stress or strain and cause the material to deform. As this material deforms, it displaces the air around it and causes audible noise. Noise generated by transformer cores is caused by a similar effect called magnetostriction. Many ferromagnetic materials change shape when subject to a magnetic field. As the magnetic field changes in the transformer core, this can cause it to physically vibrate. When this vibration reaches the mechanical resonance frequency of the transformer, it will be amplified and may cause large amounts of audible noise. Ceramic capacitors are the most common source of audible noise in a switching power supply. Because this noise is caused by the reverse piezoelectric effect, which occurs with voltage swings, we can isolate our search down to only ceramic capacitors which experience high DVDT swings. These include snubber and clamp capacitors, as well as ceramic output capacitors. The general approach for identifying if a ceramic capacitor is generating noise is to replace it with a metal film type with the same value and appropriate voltage rating. If the noise level reduces, then you've located a noise source in your circuit. If a clamp capacitor is generating noise, consider either replacing it permanently with a metal film type, try a ceramic capacitor with a different dielectric material, or change the clamp type. For example, switch to a zener clamp circuit. If a snubber capacitor is generating noise, consider replacing it permanently with a metal film type or increasing the value of the resistor in series to reduce the DVDT seen across the capacitor. Alternatively, switch to a ceramic capacitor with a different dielectric and see if the noise level reduces. If a ceramic output capacitor is identified as a noise source, consider replacing it with an electrolytic type or changing to a capacitor with a different dielectric. Also consider replacing it with multiple ceramic capacitors in parallel. The reduction in each capacitor size will reduce its surface area and change the mechanical resonance of the capacitor. The transformer is the other common source of audible noise in a power supply. To begin debugging the transformer, first confirm that it's not being stressed by an improper design. Verify that the input voltage and output loading you're providing match that entered into the PI Expert specification. If the power supply is being run below the specified minimum input voltage or above the specified output load, then regulation may be lost for part of the incoming AC cycle, causing increased flux levels in the core and generating audible noise. If the loading and input voltage is correct, then check that the input bulk capacitor value is correct per the value specified in PI Expert. If the input capacitor is too small, the DC bus voltage will droop too low between AC refresh cycles, again causing regulation to be lost for part of the incoming AC cycle. Dip varnishing a transformer core will prevent the core from vibrating against the bobbin and will reduce audible noise. When specifying a varnishing technique with your vendor, always use dip and do not vacuum impregnate. Vacuum impregnation significantly increases winding capacitance and will reduce efficiency and increase EMI. If the transformer core used is a long type, then try redesigning using a standard core length. Long core variants, for example EEL or EERL, compared with the similar EE or EER, have much lower mechanical resonant frequencies that tend to increase audible noise. For a long core using a safety margin, switching to a short core may result in having to use a larger core size to provide sufficient winding window area. Another cause of audible noise is a phenomenon known as pulse bunching. Pulse bunching refers to the tendency in some designs for the conducted current pulses to group together, followed by an extended number of skipped pulses. 
The grouping of pulses introduces fixed frequency components in the switching pattern that are often in the audible range. This occurs most frequently in supplies using on-off control, such as tiny switch or peak switch based designs. To identify if pulse bunching is occurring in your design, break the MOSFET drain trace and insert a current loop to monitor the drain current switching pattern. With a current probe and an oscilloscope, capture a set of drain switching pulses on a wide time scale with the supply operating at normal load. If you see a number of pulses conducted in a row, followed by two or more skip pulses, your supply is likely experiencing pulse bunching. On this slide, the switching waveform on the left exhibits extreme pulse bunching. The switching waveform on the right shows a more normal switching pattern where the conducted and skip cycles are more or less evenly distributed. Pulse bunching in a design indicates that the feedback circuit is too slow, introducing lag into the controller's response. Begin debugging this problem by first verifying that all the component values in your feedback circuit match those specified by PI Expert. Also try using a D-type optocoupler in your design, which has a much higher gain than standard optocouplers. You may also wish to add the feedback loop accelerator circuit shown here to improve your response times. This circuit ensures that the optocoupler transistor always operates in the active region, preventing it from saturating and giving it a faster response. Thank you for attending the course, Fixing a Flyback Supply that has audible noise. If you have any comments or questions, please email PIUniversity at powerint.com.